just want to do a slow motion hair flip. Okay. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Amber Rose, also known as The Religious Hippie. You can basically follow me on any social media platform or you can go right to my website at thereligioushippie.com. So today we're gonna be talking all about the brown scapular. I have been enrolled in the brown scapular for the last three years and I actually still have the original brown scapular <laughs> for three years. Yeah, so this is the exact same one I've been wearing since the beginning of my ministry. She's, um, she's old, but she's hanging in there <laughs> like me. I really wanted to talk about this devotion today because I think it's extremely important and everybody should be enrolled in the brown scapular. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to discuss is what is the brown scapular? The word scapular comes from the Latin word scapula, which means shoulders. Carmelite monks in the Middle Ages used to wear these giant garment apron-like protectors over their normal habits. It basically looked like this, but it was giant and it draped over the front and the back of their habits. Just gonna stick that back in there. The story of the brown scapular begins with a Carmelite hermit by the name of Simon Stock, who is now Saint Simon Stock. He was known for his devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary and his holiness. It is said that on July 16th, 1251, Our Lady appeared to Simon Stock and she handed him a brown scapular and she said, this shall be a privilege for you and all Carmelites that anyone one dying in this habit shall not suffer eternal fire. Eventually, the brown scapular devotion took off, and even laity started participating in it. But instead of wearing the giant habits that the hermits and monks usually do, we decided to opt for a smaller version, which is what Catholics wear today. The brown scapular is meant to be worn like a wedding ring is worn, not around the finger, but it acts as a symbol of commitment to Christ, and it also symbolizes the love we have for Our Lady. The brown scapular helps us receive graces from God and grow in our holiness and devotion to him. Marge Fenlin put it like this, It's like a silent prayer through which they are drawn to the sacred heart of Jesus through his mother Mary. It's said that Satan hates the brown scapular and that evil spirits become utterly powerless when the wearer of the scapular faces temptation. I also want to tell you guys a few things that the scapular is not. The scapular is not some kind of charm necklace. All the graces come from God, but the scapular is a tool that he uses in order to distribute those graces. The scapular is not a get out of hell free card, nor is it an escape purgatory card. This isn't Monopoly. Stop acting like it's Monopoly. <laughs> That's not how this works. This is an authentic and beautiful devotion and it should be treated as such. Our Lady specifically said that whosoever dies in this garment shall not suffer eternal fire. So when we wear the brown scapular, it is a reminder to ourselves and to Our Lady that we pledge devotion to her, which requires veneration, confidence, and love. Just like with a wedding ring, there are certain obligations you have to fulfill when you make a commitment like that. The scapular is no different. Unless you're in the military, you need to get a 100% wool brown scapular without a plastic casing. If you are in the military, they have metal brown scapulars, which are just basically metal circles and it kind of looks about the size of a St. Benedict medal and you wear that, but that's really only reserved for those in the military. The next thing you'll have to do is you'll have to go to your priest and ask him to enroll you into the brown scapular. Now, if you are already Catholic and you went through First Holy Communion and Confirmation, there is a good chance that you are already enrolled in the brown scapular because usually that is when parishes and priests enroll people in the brown scapular is during confirmation. That's when I was enrolled personally and I know a lot of people get enrolled around that time. There is a very simple ceremony that goes along with enrollment, but then you're enrolled. Once you are enrolled, you need to wear it around your neck continuously. It cannot be pinned to clothing or wrapped around your wrist or anything. And then the side with Our Lady giving the brown scapular to Simon Stock goes in front. I don't think it really matters because sometimes I wake up and it's like twisted around, but usually this is the front side. You also need to observe chastity in your state in life, whether that's marriage or being single or discerning a holy order. Another one of the requirements. Hey guys, so sorry, I messed up on this part. I say that these requirements are for the brown scapular, but they're actually for the Sabatine privilege. If you guys wanna learn more about that, you guys can check out the link down below but I just wanted to let you guys know that the 17 privilege it is linked to the brown scapular people who wear the brown scapular do this privilege however you don't have to do the 17 privilege requirements in order to wear the brown scapular so just wanted to throw that out there sorry about that Let's get back to the video. Another one of the requirements is that we need to recite daily the little office of the Blessed Virgin or observe the regular fasts of the Catholic Church together with abstaining from meat on Wednesdays and Saturdays or with the permission of a priest, 
get the permission first, say five decades of the Holy Rosary, or again, with permission of the priest, substitute some other good work. I will also be linking below the little office of the Virgin Mary that I use so that if you guys are interested in that, you can purchase that. A common question that I get is if I lose my scapular or if I break my scapular, if something happens to it, do I need to get re-enrolled? The answer is no, you do not need to get re-enrolled. The enrollment is on the person, not the scapular. But if you lose one, just get another, and if you want, you can get it blessed. When I was little, I didn't know too much about the brown scapular. I knew it was a devotion, but I didn't really know where it originated from or anything like that. I know my sister used to wear one consistently, always, even in the shower, and I remember that was an image that kind of stuck with me throughout my teenage years, and even till this day, I remember my sister probably about 10, or 11 and she would always wear this brown scapular and it was scraggly and old and gross and ugh. but she never took it off and she had a committed devotion to the brown scapular and that was something that really stuck with me now during that time though my parents did try to get me into the brown scapular when i was about 11 and i was confirmed in it but I just was not having a good time. I thought it was annoying and itchy and it got in the way when I tried playing sports or whenever I wanted to do anything fun. And most of the time I would tell my parents I was wearing it, but in reality, I wasn't. Don't do that, kids. <laughs> However, since I've come back into my faith over the last three years, I've become very used to my brown scapular. And in fact, if I don't have it on me, something is very wrong. Usually it means that when I took off a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or something that it got stuck in the t-shirt. I always panic when I go to Goodwill or something and I'm doing a lot of try-ons and stuff. And I feel like I don't have my scapular on me because it's probably stuck in a shirt that I tried on and decided I didn't want. That's when panic really sets in. Now, of course, I could just go and get another one. It's not that big of a deal, but when I'm not wearing it, it just feels odd. And today there is also a morning offering prayer that I pray for the devotion of the brown scapular, and it goes like this. Oh my God, in union with the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and then at this point you kiss the scapular as a sign of your consecration. I offer thee the precious blood of Jesus from all the altars throughout the world, joining with it the offering of my every thought, word, and action of the day. O oh my Jesus, my desire today is to gain every indulgence and merit I can and offer them together with myself to Mary Immaculate, that she may best apply them to the interests of thy most sacred heart. Precious blood of Jesus, save us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Amen. Okay guys, with all of that being said, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this and you guys learned a little bit more about the brown scapular and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.